Hey guys, it's James from Engineering Dads here, and today we have a guest speaker and performer on the show, Patty. Welcome, Patty. Hi. Um, so, this is a very concerning apparatus, I know, but yeah. it is a Russian roulette gun. But basically, what it is to begin with is just um, a shotgun that we got offline for about twenty or thirty dollars. Really awesome to play with parties and do some party tricks and whatnot. Um, but to shoot way- people. Uh, no, to load up a shot. Oh, okay. Like alcohol. No, just, got, just making sure. Yeah, no, actually, that's a good idea. Um, to load an alcohol shot, which we've got in here, into this little part here. And what it does is, when you pull the trigger, it goes into their mouth. So a quick demonstration. Yeah. We decided to play this game, but think, how can we make it randomized so we can play it in a group of people and one or two people get the shot out of, say, six? Or I capped it at 15 when I was doing the coding. But, um, we just thought, well, that's just Russian roulette, but electronically, and that's what this ridiculous looking box on the top here. We 3D printed this, but um, looking back, you could probably do this with any box you can buy from Bunnings or Jcar or whatnot. So the way it works is it just like turns on there by a switch and it introduces you to the game. Um, and then once that's loaded, um, it gives you the option to pick the amount of players and shots. So, so we have to change locations for some reason. So welcome to the other side of Sean's house where the lighting is better. But not as worse. Still, yeah, still pretty bad. That's all right. So yeah, as you can see here, we have the option to select players. So for this game's sake, we'll select two players and then one shot. So using the select button here, two players, one shot, and then yeah, good luck. Patty, you're up first. Thank you. So, so Patty doesn't get the shot, which means You got that all over the microphone. <laughs> Good. <laughs> hey, come for a close up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this part of the video is to explain in closer detail how it all operates. So, here is the actual box. This white little 3D printed box is something we made specifically for this project. And you can, as you can tell, it's a very flush mount, and you can see some of the screws here and on that side there. On the top here is the select buttons, up and down, select plays, select, and then there's the buzzer. Battery was a bit too big, we had to put it on the outside, that's fine. And on the right here is the on and off switch. So, I'm not sure how this looks coming through the camera, but there we go. So, with this, you select the number of plays, as James kind of mentioned previously and say three plays and let's say two shots you can you can't go above the number of max number of players um just a bit of a coding trick so do two three plays two shots good luck so when the computer decides where it goes the controller will go through and actually turn the servo motor so let's see if it can fire and we record it No, so the next two people are going to get the shot. That's just static, so. See? Completely automated control. Great stuff. The actual coding behind the Arduino we can show. Um, we'll put that into a uh, depository online so you guys can check it out or build this in your own time. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm really wet and dirty at the moment. Like, it's just. And that was before the game started. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey James, towel. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>